Hey, it's a spectacular spring day. And what are most realtors doing? They're either sitting in their office, sitting in their home, hoping they get some business. My name's Jim McCord. I've been a full-time licensed realtor for 26 years. I'm licensed in Ohio and Kentucky. And I'm here to tell you, don't sit in your office. Don't sit in your home hoping somebody calls you. Don't just constantly work your sphere. Don't play around on Facebook. You can get some business from all those, but I'm gonna tell you what I have found to be the best thing, and I've done this for 26 years. I'm here in front of this big white house for a reason. That's the first house I listed over a million dollars. My first 21 years, I was a top agent in my county quite often, but I had never listed a million dollar house. Not one, not one house. I saw this expired, it was actually two million. It was just over $2 million that expired. I sent them a unique package. I did a drop letter at their house, sent them a unique package, and I'll be happy to tell you about that package. They called me. I went in the next week and we listed the house and the house sold a few months later. So I started using that system for other homes and I did nothing but specialize in million dollar plus homes for the next five years. The system that I use is completely different than what I did my first 15 years in real estate. My first 15 years in real estate, I did the conventional marketing that you're probably being told, no matter what company you work for, nationwide, regional, or local, you're probably being told to make a bunch of phone calls, do a lot of door knocking, do some Facebook ads, maybe pay for Zillow or Realtor.com, and work your sphere. Well, I did all those things, and those things do work. They absolutely work, but you have to do a lot of them, and most agents won't do them. What I started doing, 10 years ago, I did this home five years ago, but 10 years ago, I started sending custom greeting cards to the sellers of expired homes and the sellers of for sale by owners. Because keep in mind, everything else that the owner of an expired or for sale by owner is getting is company information. It's really nice four color glossy brochures with the company logo and how great the company is, how great the agent is. The agent might include a letter, but it's all about the company and the agent. And what I started doing was sending custom cards with a picture of their photo, of the photo of their home on the front of the card. And I include gifts now, put a photo of their home on a coffee mug. There's one. Here's another one. You can do all kinds of designs. This is an aerial shot of a listing we have up in Michigan for four and a half million dollars. But if you own that home and you're getting all this information from all these realtors and it's all the same stuff, and then you get a box in the mail and it has a custom greeting card with a photo of your home on the front and maybe a coffee mug with a photo of your home on it, it's different. It works. Really works. Uh, it worked so well for me that, like I said, I started using that same first five years. I used that on conventional homes from 100,000 up to 500,000. Then I listed this home behind my shoulder here, this big white home in Edgewood. And it worked so well, I started doing it only on million dollar plus homes. It worked phenomenally for that too. So my system works on $100,000 homes, $500,000 homes, and million and $2 million homes. The reason it works is it's different. Now, it's not only the card and the gift. I got seven unique methods of follow-up. You have to follow up if you're gonna get listing appointments in this business. It would be great if we could just mail something, they'd call us, we get a listing. That's what most realtors want. That's not real life. That doesn't happen. The key is the follow-up. Be different than every other realtor. Do the follow-up. Follow-up from almost every other realtor is phone call, phone call, phone call to these people. Imagine how many phone calls an expired listing gets or a for sale by owner. Imagine that. You have to be different. I teach seven methods of follow-up. The other thing I'll share very quickly is you'll see I always wear a shirt and tie when I'm prospecting or when I'm out on a listing presentation. Most realtors today don't. You know, I've been traveling the country giving presentations to offices, all companies all over the country for the last two years. And I noticed that the majority of realtors dress casually. Think about that. Just because the majority of them dress casually doesn't mean you should. Somebody's gonna list a $200,000 house, a half a million, a million, or a $2 million house. Do you think they'll be 
more impressed with somebody that's dressed casually with jeans and a golf shirt or someone that's dressed professionally. That might be the one thing that conveys them over to you. Always dress professionally. Anyway, again, my name's Jim McCord. I want to tell you two things. The system worked so well for me. About three and a half years ago, I wrote a book. Put it all in this book, A Revolution in Real Estate Sales. It quickly became a number one bestseller. You can get that on Amazon. And I also started coaching agents about almost two years ago. I no longer sell. I strictly coach realtors. So if you ever think about hiring a coach, please give me a call. Jim McCord. Just search on YouTube, Jim McCord Real Estate Coaching. And if you're not interested in coaching, but you want to get listing appointments and you want to get a lot of referrals, get my book from Amazon, Revolution in Real Estate Sales. All right, you guys, get out there and prospect. Don't sit home or sit in your office and hope you get business. Go after it. You go after it, you'll get it. Have a great day.